All right, guys. Um, you know, first off, um, you know, Notre Dame's got a great football team. Um, they played like the number three team in the country today. Uh, they made plays on the ball. You know, we had three interceptions. Uh, we lost the field position war big time. You know, those, those you know, you're never going to win a game. You're probably going to lose big um, when you throw three interceptions. Um, you know, Joey didn't have a great day. Uh, but like I said, you got to give their offense and their defense and their special teams credit. They made plays and, and we didn't. Uh, but time of possession, you know, 40 to 20. Uh, we couldn't sustain drives offensively and, uh, and put our defense in tough situations. And, and when you do that against, a, you, know, you know, the number three team in the country, you're going to have problems winning football games. So I'll open it up for questions. How do you explain how, how things got out of hand there? You know, you mentioned a couple of stats there, but what actually went wrong? Well, I mean, again, like I said, I'm going to start off again giving Notre Dame credit. Period. They're a number, you know, the number three team in the country. They played like it. It's as good as football teams I've seen walk on a field, you know, in the last six years. Um, they they are talented. They they're they're they're, they're talented from front to back uh, on both sides of the ball, and, and we got beat by, by a better football team. Period. I'm sure the tape will see that. I'll watch the tape and we'll evaluate it, and probably have more answers for you when we we get together again. I don't know if that's Monday or not. I don't know when our schedule is with EJ. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I feel comfortable talking with you again on Monday if that's what EJ says. I don't know what the open week, what our schedule is. Um, but I, you know, like to watch the tape before I make any comments. But again, I, you know, I'm going to give credit to Notre Dame. They are a really good football team. Um, they're, they're physical. They're big. Like I told you uh, last, last Monday, um, they're a talented football team. Uh, I thought we'd stack it up better. I thought we'd be able to throw the ball better. I did not think we'd run the ball great on that front, which, you know, um, you know, they're top run defense in the country. I think, you know, um, and, and, that, and that's what it is. So um, we'll look, we'll reevaluate, we'll, you know, regroup. Uh, I think we need, a, you know, a, uh, an open week. Um, I think there's only two power five teams in the country that have played seven games or six games for that matter. And uh, we just got to regroup and, and, uh, and, and, you know, find ourselves. At, um, with 122 left in the first half there, you guys have three timeouts. You're on Notre Dame's 36 yard line. Did you, I mean, you guys kind of just sit on the ball. Are, are you content at that point going into the half with, with what it was or what happened there? I'm never content, but with 122, I didn't feel like we we're going to get in a two minute drill and do anything crazy and then we give up a block punt. Um, but, you know, with 122, you know, in the back of quarterback in there, you know, didn't want to go slinging it around the park and, and see something bad happen. So, um, you know, we figured we needed to regroup and, and get in at the half and, and just see what we had to do. Pat, I think it was early in the second uh, quarter. Um, you guys had the you decided to punt at Notre Dame's 37. Uh, was there any, uh, what was the process there in deciding not to have Alex attempt a long field goal? Um, you know, another field goal, you know, just, you know, I think it was going to be a longer field goal than we wanted to. You know, the, the, the wind out there was swirling a little bit at that time and uh, just didn't feel comfortable. Thought it was better off just to pin them, not give them a short field and play defense. Pat, the, you know, the defense, has, Pat, the defense has given up a lot of big plays, long touchdowns during this, you know, these last four games. Is it simply just, is it the front end not getting home or is it, are there mistakes in the back end that you're seeing repeatedly? There's a little bit of both. I mean, you know, the one they hit, the, the, the big one, um, we brought pressure. We hit the quarterback right as he released it. Um, so, you know, again, I'd have to watch the tape and see how our paths were when we did blitz. We did blitz on that down. We were in cover three. And, you know, you got a six foot three receiver on a, on a smaller corner, I think. A little push off, whatever, a little lean on a guy. And, uh, and number 11 makes a big play. And then, you know, Eric Cowell came out of the middle of the field. He's got to finish it up and at least give us another, another yard to stand on there. Pat, you talk about the quarterback play. You mentioned Yellen having a rough day, but also Bevel looked like you know he only got one series and before he went to Patty. What was it like to kind of juggle quarterbacks out there today? It's not easy. Um, you know, it's not easy juggling quarterbacks. But you know, um, you know, we'll look at the tape and, and, and see where we are with the quarterback. But it's 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 not easy when you know you have your backup in there and um, again against a you know uh, a really good uh, really good defense. Pat, uh, you know, when uh, talking about some of those long touchdowns you, uh, that you guys have uh, given up during ACC play here, as a coach, what, if anything, can be done to fix that or, or, or to prevent those? Or at this point, is does this just seem like kind of a fundamental flaw with this group? You know, I don't know if I'd call it fundamental flaws. Our defense is on the field for a long time today, you know, almost 41 minutes. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we got, we got to make plays on the ball. Um, you know, we'll look at the pass. We'll look what happened. You know, uh, you know, give Ian Book a lot of credit. And I mean, even when we did try to, you know, almost get him, almost get him. How many times did we almost get him? And he scrambled. I don't know. He might have been the leading rusher. Um, you know, he had, you know, he had, he had a nice day rushing the ball and scrambling out of there, which we knew he, he had, you know, uh, escape ability. Uh, he's a great athlete. Uh, he didn't make any bad decisions. We didn't force him to make bad decisions. He put the ball up where it needed to be. And, and like I said, I give Ian Book, you know, credit. You know, we, we put a lot of guys on their back in the backfield and, and we couldn't catch him today. He was he was outstanding, and he manages the game. And I told you he's a leader. Um, we we just didn't get him. There's opportunities we had to put him in. You know, whether it's getting off the field on third down um, and, and sacking him, and all of a sudden he scrambles for. I think the first series of the game he had two third down scrambles um, where we just couldn't get off the block and make a tackle on him. So we'll look at that. And like I said, their offensive line, 129 starts. Uh, they played like it today, and we, we couldn't get the pressure. And Ian Book made 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 people miss. How do you expect to get Kenny back this season? Excuse me. Do you expect I, I, Kenny back this season? You, I, you broke up again. I'm sorry, Jerry. Do you expect to get Kenny back this season? Absolutely, absolutely. Hopefully, sooner than later. He was out there today, and and he had you know he had a good week. He's doing really well. We'll Coach. see. You know, might, might be a stretch for Florida State. I don't know, but we'll see. And you Looking on more of the offensive side, um, there were a lot of drops. So how do you, how would you address that going into the bye week here and and kind of coming out there? You know, we'll, we'll look at the tape. I don't know if there was a lot of drops. You know, I don't know if we had enough balls where they needed to be. Um, you know, I'm not sure how accurate we were today as, as quarterbacks and, and throwing the football. You know, we'll look at that. But uh, you know, we got we got to make plays when the ball comes to us. We had a couple you know balls weren't you know put where they need to be put. Um, you know, whether it's over the middle and hanging a receiver out, whatever it may be, we'll look at the tape and, and, and see exactly where we are there. Pat, it looked like uh, Paris wasn't very happy about when he came out of the game in the third quarter. Can you talk about what went into the decision to take him out then? Well, there was, it was nothing that we were taking him out for any, any, any reason. We, we talked all week, you know, just by rotating those guys that we wanted to get, uh, get uh, Brandon Hill in the game and get him active. We thought with a, a lot of the 12 personnel, we were seeing the two tight ends that, um, Brandon's a good football player. I mean, Brandon, in my opinion, is a starter at safety as well. I, we got a lot of faith in him. Uh, he's a good hitter, and, and that's really what it was. Um, but, you know, nobody wants to be taken out of the game. It wasn't taken out of the game for any reason except to give Brandon Hill, you know, a series. And, you know, that, you know, I guess he wasn't happy. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, that happens sometimes. All right, Coach, you thank you for your time. Appreciate it. But we got one more question here. One more? Yeah, Coach, so you talked about the bye week coming up and just getting this team back on the winning track. I mean, what was the message at halftime, if you could share, to just get these guys focused moving forward? You know, I said, hey, 0-0 zero, zero at halftime. We're going to go out and play, and I think our kids played hard. I, I, you know, we just outmatched today for whatever reason. Um, like I said, I'm going to give credit to, to Notre Dame. I think they're big. I think they're physical. I think they're fast. Uh, obviously, they're well coached. And uh, the message at halftime was like, hey, we go out and, and regather and go. And, you know, I can't tell you we played a, a worse second half than we did first half. You know, it's about the same from what I saw except for a couple picks and, you know, a couple more short yards. I mean, we gave up a block, you know, a, a block punt and, uh, you know, they didn't score in the fourth quarter. Um, and we had a 49 yard drive for a touchdown and we had a 35 yard drive for a touchdown. So um, those are short fields and, and offenses, you know, will drool when they get those short, you know, those short fields. It opens up the playbook to do whatever you want to do. Uh, you're in four down territory in both those situations and it's not easy. I mean, both, you know, both touchdowns, I believe in the, you know, they had a field goal, you know, Looking at it, 14 plays, 72 drive. Our guys played hard, forced a field goal in the third, and uh, and then we had, you know, like I said, that 49 yard drive and a 35, you know, yard drive for touchdowns. And and uh, you know, our guys never quit and they never questioned their effort. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I'm not so sure the second half wasn't better than the first half, but it's a good football team uh, that we played today. They're the number three team in the country, and and uh, I would imagine you're probably looking at a Clemson Notre Dame based on what I've seen um, in an ACC championship game. All right, Coach, Did penalties you for... bother you more than anything else? Penalties, you said? No, there's a yes. lot of there's a lot of things that bother me. I don't know what the penalties were for the day, um, but now I'm just looking at it right now. Twelve penalties, yeah. I mean, there's just little penalties here and there, and uh, and they'll get you. So yeah, penalties bother me when I see twelve, and that's more than we had last week.